The Manila Metro Rail Transit is a non-living system as it includes electric-powered cars and signal systems to transport passengers across EDSA. An efficient mode of urban public transportation is the system's main goal. From the first to the last trip, northbound to southbound routes and vice versa show a positive feedback system where each trip increases the amount of the passengers transported by the MRT. Our system consists of seven parts. First, the train stations. Concourse level containing security lines, stairs, escalators, elevators, ticket booths, and fare gates in the first thing you'll spot at train stations. Some stations, like the Araneta Center Cubao, are directly connected to other malls. Meanwhile, platform levels that provide access to both sides of the road can be above or below the concourse levels and can either be an island or a side platform. MRT has 13 stations along the 16.9 km route that orbit EDSA from Taft to North Avenue. Some stations are connected to other railway systems, creating a new network of transportation system like what can we see below. Second, we have Beep Cards, short for Bagong Jeep. It is a magnetic and contactless card-based payment system used not only for MRT but also across other railway lines and the, and the BGC bus line. It can store value up to 10,000 pesos and can be reloaded. Third, we have Train Cars or Rolling Stocks. These are three or four car configurations of vehicles with approximately 1,200 to 1,500 passenger capacity. However, overcrowding affects the system's passenger turnout. Fourth, depots. The line is an underground depot near the North Avenue station as the center of operations and maintenance, which also offers storage of unused light rail vehicles. Fifth, signaling. This ensures that each train station is clear, avoiding any collisions. MRT uses the city flow to 50 fixed block signaling, track circuits, every screen 900, centralized traffic control, and computer-based interlocking devices to move trains, control traffic, and maintain safe travel. Sixth, we have rail tracks. Tracks are characterized by standard gauge tracks with a center distance of 3.4 meters. And lastly, we have humans as operators, security personnel, engineers, mechanics, and of course, the passengers. The interconnection of all parts is especially evident on occasions of failure. When any of the parts fails to work, the whole train stops operating well. As we know, the LRT and MRT systems have failed quite a few times. Thus, all parts affect each other because they each have a unique purpose that all sums up to a well-operating system. So, do the parts together produce an effect that's different from the effect of each part on its own? Yes. Each element of the system helps each other to accomplish an effect other than their own. Imagine the railway transit system without the primary input of people like operators, mechanics, engineers, drivers, security personnel, and the passengers. As an output, the system won't operate and transport passengers on its own and probably deteriorate over time without maintenance. Also, consider situations like a transaction system without beep cards or a train without the railway track guiding it or the train traffic without the signals. These situations are undesirable and inefficient as a system. We can say that the railway transportation as a system without input from people or other elements will not function to accomplish its purpose of safe and fast transport of people. The combination of elements is necessary. There are many effects in this system that synergizes to achieve the purpose of sustainable transportation. system actually depend on the extent of the circumstances. On one hand, maintenance and repair are routine activities to sustain the supposed behavior of MRD. It can withstand small interruptions such as closing of ticket booths, technical glitches with the tickets and beep cards, and short delays in the arrival of trains. It also has protocols for emergency situations such as when there are disturbances on the train tracks. Train operation would be halted until the tracks are cleared again. On the other hand, Large-scale disturbances like a pandemic change a lot of how the system behaves. Due to the COVID-19, health protocols were added to the system and trains operated with a significantly lower capacity. Ideally, inconsistencies in the railway's operation should not have a long-term effect on its performance. However, due to issues of financial corruption, MRT has encountered power supply and mechanical issues more often than it should. Defective parts were not being replaced, resulting in fewer operating train cars and longer waiting time for the passengers. Consequently, this adds more to the country's traffic problem instead of serving its original purpose of providing fast public transportation.